Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing a discussion with Crowd4 AI. So in our last video, we have discussed with how can we install a Crowd4 AI and we have done the basic scraping using Crowd4 AI. In this video, we will be demonstrating how can we create a screenshot of a web page or how can we create a PDF of a web page. So we will see both in this video which is very simple using crowd for AI. For that, we have selected this particular wiki page and we will be using this page to create the PDF or the web page. Okay. So let's start our coding. I believe you have already installed uh, the crowd for AI and uh, if you are not, please check my previous video. I will add my previous video link in the comment box or description okay so this is the uh, the file that i have created now let me specify the url so this is the url that we are going to take the screenshot okay we can do some basic import we can do os import this is import maybe i can do import Thing you also need to be imported again uh, now from crowd for AI we need to import uh, async web crawler also cache mode also need to be imported importer and here I can mention a async function so this is my async function right let me put a pass here now if name equal to equal to main okay now I can start async dot run and call the main function. Okay, so the skeleton is ready. Now we can start writing in this the main function. Okay, so I can use a async function here. Async with async web crawler. I can have a crawling page. Now I can wait for the result. Now I can have a result. I can wait for some operation wait okay so here i can use crawler dot async run here we can see we, we can pass the url so let me pass my url so this is my url and i can make a cache mode as uh, bypass you'll be bypassing the cache mode and there is two more parameters which is very important that is i can set a pdf is equal to true also i can take a screenshot is equal to true so once this is done, it will automatically create the screenshot and PDF for us. Now I can check the result is success. Okay. And if the result is success, I can check if the result has a screenshot. Okay. If the screenshot is there, now what we can do, I can from base 64, we can import. We can import base. 64 decode I believe okay now this can be so once we have the screenshot we can write in, it into a file so I can write screenshot.png this will be write binary as file f dot write result dot screenshot so this will write the screenshot to this particular file screenshot.png now in similar way what we can do we can check for the result.pdf if this is available i can do the same process i can create a uh, pdf maybe uh, i can name it as wiki.pdf this also will be write binary as file f dot write f dot write this can be result dot pdf so we are done with our coding which is very very simple with a uh, 10 lines of code maybe 10 to 12 lines of code we will be able to create the pdf and the screenshot of a web page now we can start we can do the running of this particular code we'll see how can we run this uh, maybe let me go here 
can take a console here. Okay, so this is the terminal. I need to check. Okay, ENV gen. Okay, maybe this may be the environment file let me check the environment file let me double check the environment file i'm not sure this is the right environment file okay maybe this may be the environment file okay we'll double check it later so let me run it okay python.pdf we'll see if it's the right or not so yeah, so this is the right environment for me, env gen and uh, the execution is in progress. Okay, so now we are getting an error. We'll see what is the error. It says cannot import base64 decode from base64. Okay, so we'll see that from base 64 so let me copy this let me put it here so that it will have more visibility so from base 64 import base 64 okay so here there is no e so base 64 decode okay so it's still it is not the right so b64 okay so it's B64 decode, not B64, it's a B64 decode, that is my mistake, sorry. So let me correct it, uh, B64 decode, okay, for the time being we are not using it anywhere, so which will be fine. So let me try to run this. Let me see. I think we should convert this uh, result dot screenshot into B64 decode. I think we should decode it. Okay, let me uh, let me do it. Just a second. We have a B64 decode, and I can pass this screenshot here. F dot right B64 decode result dot screenshot. Let me run it again. We'll see. Okay, this time it seems to be working, and we got the result. Okay, now we can check the result here. So this is my screenshot. Okay, see, so we got exactly as it is, right? So we got all the pages. Now we can check how the PDF is also looking. Uh, for that, let me. Uh, go back here. I can open the screenshot wiki.pdf here. Oh, great. See how this works. So we have uh, we have the all the pages. Okay, we have nearly 32 pages are available, and which is successfully we are able to convert the web page into PDF. So that is the power of crew for AI, and so that is the. Um, plan for the video so I have demonstrate how can we create a screenshot or PDF from the web page so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye